first start by securing your thread to the hook and then wrap it back to the bend of the hook. Once it's back there, we're going to leave the tag in and not snip it free because that's going to come into play later when we bring it up through the tail. The tailing material itself is going to be made out of coque de Leon. We're only going to tear off oh, about six fibers or so so that we keep our tail nice and sparse. Secure those fibers down right at the bend of the hook with just a few wraps of thread. That should be enough to hold everything down together. Once that's nice and secure, bring up that tag end through the tail fibers to kind of split them apart. Doing that particular step will help ensure that the fly is more stable when it lands on the water. Once your tag end is brought forward, secure it down along with the tail fibers to about two-thirds the length of the shank. Once you're there, snip off the excess material and then add a few extra wraps to make sure everything is nice and flush. And now it's time to add the body. The body of this fly is a biot pulled from the primary flight feather of a goose wing. Secure the tip of the material down at the bend of the hook. Once it's secure, bring your thread back up to two-thirds length of the shank. Using your hackle pliers, grab hold of the biot and then wrap it adjacent up the shank of the hook until you've reached the two-thirds point. When you secure down the correct side of the biot, you should start seeing a natural black rib form as you wrap the biot forward. And once you've reached two-thirds point with the material, secure it down with your thread. If your biot ends up being as small as the one I'm using, go ahead and just secure it down to the hook itself and then make a few wraps around the shank up to the eye and then back over what you've just secured to make sure everything is nice and flush to the shank of the hook. And now it's time to add the wing. The wing itself is going to be made from the small neck fibers of a Brahma hen. Select two small hackle fibers and pluck them from the hen back. The hackle fibers themselves are slightly cupped, so make sure that you put them back to back so that they're slightly pointed away from each other. Once those fibers are back to back, you can strip away any of the loose fibers from the stem of the feathers. Once that material is nice and stripped away, place both of the feathers right on top of the shank of the hook right where you want the feather to sit and then secure them down nice and gently. And once you've made your first security wrap pinning your wings on top of the shank of the hook, pull the wings back ever so slightly and gently to make a few wraps in front of the stem of the feather so that your feathers will stand upright making a nice wing for your mayfly. When everything is nice and secure, snip off the excess stem fibers. The grizzly hackle for the legs will be the last material we have to add to this fly. Simply bear the stem and then secure it down right behind the wing and then slightly in front of the wing to make sure that the hackle fiber stem is nice and secure. Now take the hackle fiber and wrap it around the shank of the hook twice behind the wing and twice in front and then secure it down right behind the eye of the hook. Once everything is nice and secure, it's time to whip finish and then snip off the excess thread and the excess hackle fibers. And the final step of the fly is simply to clean up the hackle fibers underneath the shank of the hook so that it sits nice and flush to the water and you have yourself the hen wing mayfly.